Plus, but what it, I, I might be wrong with that. On the valley? No, it's, a, it's a still a... Uh, yeah, but over a, ra a, ra over a, razor, sharp, over a razor sharp bridge, is that correct? Or yeah, am I not one second. Correct? Well, do you want to record it? Yeah. Is it for your channel? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I need it for my channel as well. Yeah, okay. Uh, okay. Smile. Okay. Mm. Smile. 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 Yeah, carry on. Um, yeah, so basically, even, 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 as I understand it, I need to look up the scripture, so I'm, I'm speaking off the top of my head. Even he appeared not to have assurance of salvation. It's not a sword of salvation, it's a sword of humble. You know, it's not saying, we don't go and say, no, hundreds of going to heaven, yeah. and nobody can see that. With you, we just mean, you know what, look. We just want to come this second. This guy's so loud, man. We will do our best. Right? We will do our best. But you're yeah. saying that you've got guarantee cards. Humility is good. Uh, I absolutely agree with you. Humility okay. is good. Okay, wait a minute. We're saying, you know what? We do our best. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, if you read the Quran, it says, Allah, the most merciful, the most beneficial. So if he's the most merciful, he looks at Ali and says, you know what? Ali has made sins. But Ali prays five times a day, for example. He helps the poor. He does etc. For example. For example. He does all of this. Yeah, do you get what I'm trying to say? Yeah, yeah, no, he has a haircut looking good, whatever, yeah? So what it is, he does this, yeah, yeah. right? God is going to get my good deeds and my bad deeds, and Allah SWT says he chooses. Even if my bad deeds are more than my good deeds, he might choose and say, you know what? One day, um, let's say this time, you did something really good, and I forgive you bad sins because of that, and you go into heaven. This is the mercy of God. This is the mercy. But you need to put work in. If you was married, how would you like if your wife came up to you and said, Patrick, I love you. But she doesn't kiss you, she doesn't show you love, she doesn't buy you nothing, she says, I love you. Does that love count? It will, it's a rather cheap love, basically. It's a cheap love. Yeah. Just the way, don't get me wrong, it's the cheap worship you give to God. You know why? Because you say, we believe. Do you practice? No, we don't. Do you pray? No, we don't. Do you give a charity? No, we don't. No, we don't. No, we don't. That's not love. If you really love, you will sacrifice. We pray. Look over there. Take the camera over there, brother. Take the camera over there. The brothers have just finished praying, right? The brothers have just finished praying. They pray. We pray just like Jesus did. Jesus fasted over 30 days. We fast for 30 days. To summarize, you're trying to say that actions actually speak louder than words. Is that what you're saying? Yes, it's very louder than words. And I believe it's a wishful thinking. Yes. That you believe you're okay. going to die, not praying, you're not doing certain okay. things, and you go, you're going to go to God and say, okay. God, we believe your son yeah. or yourself yeah. died for our sins. Yeah. And God's going to be like, yes. Okay. Now you can go heaven. And now I'm going to have a reply to particular that. I believe that's what's thinking on your part, because yeah. you believe yeah. that you put faith in your good works, yes. that you can be on an equal level with God, as holy as pure as God. No, no, because no. if God is just and holy, no he will that. not be able to have no you, not be able to accept you. Listen, do, listen, the most pure of the pure as we can say yeah. is Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Even he, yeah. right, even he can't say he's the same as God. We don't say that. Okay. Listen to this, look at look. We believe in one God, but unfortunately, the example I'm going to give, look, in the Quran it says, look, yeah. you can make mistakes, yes. but I'm merciful. Okay, God enough. is saying, I am merciful, I can forgive. I don't argue, but I'm sorry, the God of the Bible fine. says, yes. no, I need somebody to die. I need blood. I need to see someone. What kind of a loving God is that? That requires someone, his son, to die for our sins. Where in, in the Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying, look, come to me with sins yeah. as high as the skies. Yeah. I will forgive. I will forgive every single one of them unless you associate partners with me. Look at the love. This is what real love is. God is saying, I will forgive you. Sorry. But whereas in the Bible it says, no, I need blood. Somebody has to die. You tell me which one's more love. Going back to the point, what you made about sort of uh, good, good deeds, I'm going to put it re rephrase it a different way. Do you believe you have any corruption in you whatsoever? Are you as pure as God is? Me? Yes. I'm telling you, look, are you on camera? I am a sinner. I make sins. I always make sins. Okay. And I will always make sins. Okay. But knowing that I try my best and I yes. pray, right? I don't want to be perfect, but knowing that Allah SWT is the most merciful right. and most just, I know in my heart, when even when I sin, I don't want to, but certain times we all fall for it. But knowing that there's a loving God that says he will forgive me, that, that gives me hope. Yeah. But what about you? What do, what do you mean by that? I've answered the question. Sure. Because basically, if, if, we, if we say that we can work our way into God's good books, we, we are saying that we're as pure and righteous as God's. And I'll, I'll have to refute that. Um, and, and, and number two, I'll come back, to the point, come back to the point. We're meant to be doers of the word, not just hearers. The Bible's very clear about that. And therefore, if I was to claim I'm a Christian, yet did anti-Christian things all the time, you'd probably have enough proof to say, well, you know, I don't think that, that, that guy is a Christian. I, I don't think you'd have... 
I don't think you'd have the um, you, you you would not have you would have the proof in front of you that I. I, I'm lying about my Christianity, or at least I'm a cultural Christian in most parts, but like you could be a cultural Muslim, which is fake, it's basically a fake Muslim. So it's, um, it's the same difference there. But our salvation rel relies on God. Because if, if the minute you start relying on works to make yourself right before God, that is where pride comes in. That is where you're making yourself equal to God. And ironically, you're almost making yourself an associate with God for doing that. You said the moment we put our works in, it's like what? The moment we rely on our works, yeah. our good deeds, that and, I'm, and, yeah, and I'm, saying, I'm, saying, I'm saying from bad deeds too, no. that is a form of pride. Okay. You're, saying you're, you're, you're saying that you can be as okay. pure as God. Okay. Check, check this out. Yes. You're thinking that when we practice, it's that we're saying, look, we did the work for pride. Even though we practice and we do all of that, we still come to Christians and say, look, inshallah, meaning hopefully we will go um, heaven. Look at this. Look at what you said. You said, look at, we don't even have a pride. We're doing, we're playing, yeah? But we still come to Christians and say, look, if God wills, we will go heaven. Look at look at the yeah. thing we have in here. Look at the humbleness as Muslims we have in here. Right? Even though we're doing the works, we're saying, look, inshallah we'll go to heaven. Right? Okay. But whereas you, I want to tell you, how could you guarantee that you're going to heaven when Jesus never he himself said he's going to die for your sins? Where did he say that? Where did he say, I will die for your sins? At the moment, I don't remember why you got me so <laughs> Um, I'm, trying get, I'm trying to get from my head right now. Um, yeah? it's, what, it's, what, it's, what it says, it's what it says in, 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 the, uh, in the letters of the, letters of the New Testament. Okay. Uh, he, he, he used our scapegoat. He, 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 bore our, he, he, he bore our sins, basically. Okay. And he said, also goes on to say that I am the way, the truth, and the life. Nobody no one can accept through me. That, okay. so, also, it says, well, this is a good well, thing. He says he's a forgiver of sins. He didn't take the number of sins. Do you remember the Gospel of Luke? Do you remember the Gospel of Luke? When he mentions he had a paralyzed man and said, and he said, your faith has made, has made you well, or played the field, basically. The Pharisees, the, the Pharisees uh, looked at that and they said, whoa, what's going on here? This is, um, this is Sabbath. First of all, it's Sabbath. Uh, um, then number two, he, he wants them to say, who can forgive, forgive, forgive sins? It says, your sins are forgiven, brother. The Pharisees knew what Jesus was saying here. They knew that he was forgiving sins. And this is blasphemy, because they knew that was equating himself with God. Okay, okay. If that's the case, if he was forgiving sins on his own accord, yeah? Yes. Then you need to understand, but there's another verse that says, look, Jesus says, I and my own self can do nothing. Yes. As I see, I judge. Yes. And my judgment is just. I do not seek my will, but the will of my Father. Automatically, he's referred it to yes. God. In the book of Acts, chapter 2, verse 22, yes. it says, Jesus of Nazareth, a man approved of God with wonders, miracles, and signs, yep. which God did by him. Listen to this carefully. Which God did by him. Just like Moses did miracles, God did it by him. You know, God gave him that power. Yep. Moses didn't come and say, look, I'm throwing this on the floor and it's going to turn to a snake. By God's will. Yes. And Jesus is clearly saying this. Now, I will give you another verse where Jesus is clearly saying he didn't die for our sins. Because he says, one day some, some man comes up to me and says, oh good master, what must I do to gain eternal life? Why do you call me good? First thing look, if he's saying with God, why does he, if God, if somebody comes to God and says, oh good master, why would he refuse to be called good? He says to the man, he says to the man, why do you call me good? There is only one good, and that's God, number one. Now, coming back to the sense, he says, honor your mother and father, do not commit adultery, do not commit murder, etc, etc, etc. And the man says, look, Jesus, my Lord, yeah, as, uh, uh, thing. he says, I have done all of them since I was young. What must I do now to gain eternal life? Now, the problem here is, and I ask the Christians is this, if that's the case, why didn't Jesus say, um, okay, you lack one thing, and that one thing is believing that I died for your sins. He doesn't say that. No, I no, don't. No. He doesn't. Yeah. He says you lack one thing. Mm -hmm. And that one thing is, you go home, sell your wealth, and give it, mm -hmm. distribute it to the poor. Mm -hmm. Then you will yeah. gain eternal life. Yeah. Now the problem is here, this. If Jesus, his whole Christianity thing is based on him dying for your sins, he should have said you lack one thing, mm -hmm. and that's believing that I died for your sins. Now follow me. But he doesn't say that. He says, go home, sell your wealth, yes. give it to the poor, yeah. you get eternal life. So that means if I'm a rich man, I go home, sell my wealth, give it to the poor, I get eternal life. So how does Jesus time fit into that? We haven't died yet. So he, he, he basically, 
this was going to happen in the future. That was going to happen in, 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 in the future. And number two, you have to bear in mind that like, when he said, why you calling me, um, why you calling me good, so good, my God is good, he was by, by implication was saying he's God himself. Number two, number two, this is important bit. If you go earlier, if you go earlier in that, in that, in that chapter, Jesus giving the illustration of the, of, of the, uh, the, the vineyards where you had um, the, the te tenancy farmers basically, and the owner of, the owner of the vineyard was going there to get his, get, get his, get his rent basically. So mistreating his servants, killing some, mistreating others, ultimately sent his son. Now that owner, the, the, even the Pharisees knew that what, what Jesus was saying. They knew that he was meant that the owner was God, the tenancy, farm, tenancy farmers basically were the Pharisees, the servants, who only this owner sent, were the prophets from old, and his son, Jesus was implying that he himself was God's son. Now, they, 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 they knew that, and that's why they took offence at that. And that was happening before Jesus met up with, met up with this chap who was asking him, what that, what did he told him, that's one thing you lack. You also asked, well, he said that Jesus said, was saying, why do you call me good? No, but like God is good. You've got two answers to that. You could say, well, you're, you're, not, you're not good because you're not good. Or you could say that you, you are good, Jesus, because you are God. So you have a choice. You've you, you got two choices to that. Yeah, so that would be my answer to that. And second, second uh, two, two points, to be very quick. Um, first of all, when, well, after Jesus had been resurrected from the dead, when he met his disciples, yeah, Thomas, who called him my Lord and my God, and Jesus referred to him and said, reply to him, um, now you believe. Now, if Jesus was a good teacher, that we both believe he, he was, he would have immediately corrected Thomas on that, on that, on that point. Um, third point, the third and final point, is just at Jesus' at Jesus' uh, trial um, with the religious leaders, um, Jesus, uh, Jesus asked about, who, who are you? And he referred to himself as the Son of Man, who's prophesied in Daniel, and who would be, whose kingdom would be everlasting, everlasting. Uh, but the point I'm trying to make is, that if you're trying to... Where did he say that was in? Sorry? Where did he say that was in? You never said that, I don't think so. Exactly, hold on a second there. So it's going to be I love the passion here. The young power, the conversation. A young guy. What I'm trying to say is this. If he didn't say with his own mouth that he died for us, if he didn't say with his own mouth that I am God, why do you believe what God said? Because at the end of the day, this is going to scare people. Abraham said there is one God. Moses said there is one God. Jesus said there is one God. Jesus said, look, here, O Israel, our Lord. God is one. Yes, that's a shame. No, 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 Yes, of course, he's an apostle. Well, no, no, no. Was he a prophet of God, messenger of God? He was an apostle, basically. No, yes, he was wasn't. Referring. You know very well he wasn't. So okay. Abraham he says one no, God. No, no, tell me what he was then. If he wasn't an apostle, tell me what he was. That's yeah. according to the Bible. Paul was somebody that killed Christians, mm -hmm. right? He was yes. a bounty hunter, as you know. Yes. And one day he comes yes. and goes, guys, I had a revelation today. God spoke to me. Okay. What if Hitler came here today and said to the Jews, Jews, I've killed six million of you guys, but God spoke to me. Now follow me. Would the Jews follow us? Very unlikely. They will fly kick him in his head. Yeah? They will fly kick him straight up. So what I'm trying to say to you is Abraham says one God, Moses says one God, Jesus says one God, Paul comes along, a person that kills Christians and says, no guys, yeah. this and they didn't God, believe him at first. What? They were scared of they were scared of him for, at first. They didn't believe him for exactly. a while. So what I'm trying to say is I'd rather believe Abraham, Moses and Jesus than somebody that used to kill Christians. And you should take that upon yourself. Now, secondly, yeah. nowhere Jesus said... Come on, verbatim, verbatim. Not, hey? don't, use, don't use notes. No, 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 Many examples, right? I need you to acknowledge that Jesus, if he never said it himself, why do you want to believe that? We're not here to say my religion is the best, I won the debate, I'm not here to do that. I'm sincerely telling you, Patrick, and I've talked to you many, many times. Yep, yeah, indeed, yeah. If you are sincere, yes. if you are truthful, yes. excuse my voice, sorry about that. If you are sincere and truthful, yeah. you will say, hold on a second. Most people come and say to me, the Quran is written by man. And the Bible is from God. Mm -hmm. And this is what I say. I say, if that's the case, yes. how is it that a man has done a better job than your God? In the Bible, there's contradictions, there's errors, there's, errors, yes. there's verses added in later, mm -hmm. but in the Quran that's written yes. by man, it doesn't have these errors. So you need to question yourself and go, hold on yeah. a second. Jesus himself yes. prophesied.
prophesized of a comforter that will come. Yes, right? in his name. In his name. And this thing, no, no, do you need listen? That that's not, that, that was oh, come on, Ali, that's nonsense. If you're trying to say the Holy Spirit is, is Mohammed, that is absolutely nonsense. Is that nonsense? Because it comes in his name, in Jesus' name. And Muhammad, and Muhammad's, sorry, uh, Muhammad's uh, message is rather different from the message in the Bible. Didn't he come, didn't he, didn't Prophet Muhammad, the message he got, told us to believe and love Jesus? Excuse me, sorry? Didn't Prophet Muhammad, he said, taught us to believe and love Jesus? He would, well, he said, he can't face so, 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 if he's talking about the comforter, if he's yep. saying, when I go, he shall come, mm -hmm. Prophet Muhammad came 600 years later, peace be upon them both, he says, uh, he shall guide you onto all truth, yes. which is the Quran. Mm -hmm. It says, he shall not speak of himself, mm -hmm. as he hears, he shall speak. Every Muslim knows that Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, did not yes. know how to read or write. And he taught it. He did not speak of himself. As he heard from Angel Gabriel, he spoke it to his disciples. Right. And the last point it says, the comforter, Jesus is saying, yep. he shall glorify me. Is there any religion on this planet that loves Jesus, follows Jesus, and glorifies Jesus apart from Islam? I don't think it's true. I'm asking you, who is it then? And then, okay, you, first of all, you're coming out with um, saying that Quran, Quran is perfect and unchanged. Yes. Do you have the Islamic manuscript? Sorry? Do you have the um, Do you have the manuscript from the time of Caliph Uthman? Okay. Without, without, yes. without, without going to the notes. Without going to the pictures. No, 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 it's okay. Without going to the notes. Okay. The, we've what, got, what, what, we've, what got, we've got the Quran was done by two. What's been said about Al Qurish? What, what's been said about the Quran? Sorry? What's Al Qurish? Oh, I got a couple of Turkish name. Al Turish is Turkish. Yeah, I know. What's what's his, he said it in this okay. picture over here. Yeah. That is from the late first century, second century Hijra. Right. right? We have hundred percent of the Quran in Al Hussein Museum in uh, Egypt, mosque, uh, not Museum, mosque. Yeah. And from first century yes. Hijra, we have eighty-five percent. Are you aware of right? Are you aware of Yasin Dasan, aren't you? Yasin Dasan, who, who does um, he's, he, he actually um, Ahmed Mansour is actually with actually with Colin Afrika Smith at the Senate House. This is about one month ago. There is no. There is no um, extant uh, full mushaf from, from the time of Caliph Uthman. You've got to bear in mind, at the time of Islam, at that, at that period of time, the, the, the mushafs were on, apparently on vellum, which is quite strong, does not deteriorate fast, and also the cities where these mushafs were taken to, they were all under full Muslim control. We Christians, we for the first um, for the first three centuries, we were perse we were being persecuted. We were we were not in control of cities basically. Uh, our, our manuscripts were on uh, on papyri, which which deteriorates very quickly. So we, we, we're quite open. We're quite open that we don't have um, manuscripts from, from the first two centuries. We're quite open. First three centuries. First three centuries. We're quite open that there are four four hundred thousand variances. But we're quite happy. We're quite happy with the difference between the Textus Receptus, which is used in the King James, King James Bible, and what we call the critical text, which are used in the NIV or the English Standard Version as, as examples. We are aware of the differences. We are of the big differences, like the end of uh, Mark. We're aware of the missing one. Which John, is, John 7, 5, exactly, exactly, okay, okay. exactly. But right. nevertheless, there is no, it's, it's important because there is no difference in doctrine we read the New Testament as a whole, either from the Texas Receptus or from the Bibles that we use today. There's no, there's no difference. Okay, Patrick, Patrick. You are confirming that for 300 years later after Jesus, yes. the New Testament start coming about. Yes, but right? first, we got the, okay. no, not coming about, we get the first manuscripts. Okay, the first yes. manuscripts. We get the first the, 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 yeah. the, As I know from, I don't know how it is, I think from the third century, the New Testament you have is this big. It doesn't really matter how big it is. It's this big. Right. From the New Testament of the first century. That's the oldest, original ones you've got. This big. Mm -hmm. And it's proven, people know that. Now, you're saying there's variances. Yeah. So there's, it, there's, it, there's, sorry, just to go back there. When you say it's this big, what do you mean by that? The, the oldest, newest uh, uh, New Testament. In terms of, it'd be number of pages? Or? Pages. The original, the, the, the latest you've got is right. that big. Okay. Yeah? You've got verses added in which you are accepting, right? Yes. You've got variances, yes. you're saying there's things, yep. and you're still willing to believe that it's from God. Absolutely. Okay, now no, from but, that but, one, yes. what I can see is, I've done my bit, yes. you're rejecting it, yes. not a problem, right? Yeah. But where is the Quran? If your true claim is truthful, yes. show me a verse that's been added into the Quran, or show me two books where it says, look, over here it says this, in this Quran it says this. If you cannot prove that, you do not have a case. You need to show to me, look, in the Quran, in this uh, chapter, this verse, this has been added in, this is my evidence. Do you have that? I'll go straight, straight back to the point I made earlier. Do you have the Mushaf from the time of Caliph Uthman? Yes. Do you have the extent one? Go for it, go for it. 
And how many, how many do you have? Not, 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 I mean, how many sort of, how many mushrooms from time to caliphate men do you have? Let me show you. From first, from second century Hijra, yes. to uh, the late first century Hijra, to begin of second century Hijra, we have got, in the Al Hussein Museum, the, uh, the entire Quran, right? This is that's there. Yes. Right? Yep. Okay. Yes, I'm looking at that. Yep. From first century, yes. at the time of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, yeah. we have 85%. Yes. From first century, repeat, repeat that, sorry. Yes. From, from the first Prophet Muhammad's time, yes. first century, we have 85%. Okay. Now, what, 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 what caliphate was in, in power at the time, just so, so we got reference? Um, I'm not sure. I mean, was it Uthman or was it afterwards? No, no, no. Uthman was uh, uh, after that. Okay. I mean, it was Abu Bakr, maybe. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Okay. Exactly. But the thing with Quran is, it's oral transmission. Yes. You can't go wrong, check this out. If look, I've given you this example before. Yes. Right? The time stable. Yeah. You know your time stable by heart. I do. Okay. <laughs> you guys all know your time stable by heart, yeah? Yes. I'm gonna say something and I want you to correct me. If I say three times three is twenty. No, it's nine. What is it? It's nine. Can you can you check that? Nah. What is it? <laughs> nine. It's nine. What is it, bro? Nine. So if we all know the timetable by heart, would we ever go wrong? No. If I say three times three is five hundred and twenty, you say no, it's nine. The Quran has been memorized. Okay. When we're in the okay. Sorry. Sorry. when we're in the mosque praying, brother, when the Imam recites something wrong, you correct him. The, con the congregation. So you can't, you can't go wrong. It's impossible. That's why we say if we threw all the scriptures into the sea today, the Quran is the only one that will come back because it's been memorized by millions. Okay. Do you get know what I'm trying to say? I get exactly what you're trying to say, yeah. and it's, this, this point's been raised before. But I mean, I've had sort of, I've been. Uh, then why do you reject? Bad stuff. Because you, you've still got the variances. What little you you have, and I, I'm going to keep on coming back to the point. This is the point you keep on making. The, you, you had in the Islamic Caliphate where you had cities and so forth under Muslim control. There were Muslim towns and Muslim cities. Okay. You had the Quran manuscripts being written down on vellum, not papyrus, which, which deteriorates really quickly. So you're saying the Bible was deteriorated? I'm saying that the, 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 the manuscripts the would deteriorate very quickly. That's okay. why. Okay. Wait, 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 about the oral tradition, yeah. and I've, I've, I've seen on YouTube, you've got many sort of these uh, Muslim uh, uh, Quran reciters, yeah. and, and it's very impressive. Yes. However, that's, no matter how impressive that might be, all that sort of oral, oral sort of uh, transmission, transmission of, of the Quran may be, you've still got to face up to the facts that those early uh, mushafs that you have of the Quran, the early extant ones that you have in, in your possession, there are there are variances. Now, I can't, you're gonna, the next question is going to be asking me, well, show me them. I will not be able to do that because I did not speak Arabic. Uh, it's important that I, I can't make claims that I, I can't sort of bolster. You know, you know where the Quran came? There was poets of par excellence of the Arabic language. There's a challenge yes. in the Quran for those Arabs. They say if you think yeah. this is not from your God, yes. from Allah, yes. bring a verse or chap I mean bring yes. a chapter like it. Yeah. Right? So look at this challenge in the Arabs. These yes. guys were par excellence yes. in the Arabic okay. language and they couldn't beat the challenge. Okay. That, I mean, that, that, that's, cool. that's all well and good, but it's, it's it's, it's a fairly Why do you reject it? It's a, it's a fairly meaningless challenge. Yeah. You, 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 it's, a what? You've got, it's a fairly meaningless it's a challenge. What is it meaningless? It's challenging you. Well, it's depending in what, what way. What, what, it's what? telling you. Yes. It's a test. Does the Bible come and say this? If you think this is not from God, bring a verse like it. It's stepping up to you, Patrick. It's saying, look, Patrick. Why should, why if you think this is not from God, yes. bring a verse like it. It's stepping up to you, man. It's telling you, bring a verse like it. So it's challenging you. Look. Come on, Patrick. I want to look. I want to quickly finish all this. Yeah. Let's, no, uh, no, but let's, uh, all I'm saying is, okay. rather, rather than coming out with that, you've got, you're bringing out information, keep it, keep, keep it verbatim, basically. Okay, I, I'm, no. I'm taking, basically, I'm taking on board what you say, okay. and you know what I'm like. Are I'm, you rejecting it? Well, I, that's my rights. If that's your right. No, no, no. You're yeah, right. That's, that's my right. rights. Yeah. I have every right. I'll say right. publicly, you I'm rejecting reject it. Yeah, yeah, you can reject it, no problem. But yeah. believe me, yes. I'm, I'm giving the evidence, you're saying reject it. It's like me saying, this is brown, you're saying, no, it's white. Okay. That's what you're doing. So, it's upon you. I've conveyed the message. Yes. And I convey it every time I come and see you. But you always reject can you give me something. Can you give me a specific example? You, you mentioned the Quranic, sort of, uh, the Quranic challenge saying, bring me a verse, bring me a verse like this. Yes. When you, when you say that, what, 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 what are you trying to show? I mean, what are you... Okay. For example, give me an example of a challenge. What, like, like, for example, in yes. Arabic. Yes. Okay. The, short, the shortest chapter yes. is, I think... I'm not, sure, I'm not sure. Is it three? Three, three, three. Three, three. three verses. Three verses. Three 
three verses, that's it. Yeah, yeah. it's yeah. only three verses yes. long. Yeah. We are asking you, the Arabs, whoever speaks Arabic, yeah, yeah. whoever, to make something similar to that. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. If you can't, then... Well, wait, then wait, okay, but what do you think makes something similar? What do you mean? So, I mean it's sort of, yeah, that, in the Arabic language, you know the way it's written? I, can't, I don't know in detail. The way okay. it's written mm -hmm. is... It's not, it's not, you can't be doing that. Do you get what I'm trying to say? I understand what I'm trying to say. The flow. Why does Quran have to be, okay, why does Quran have to be in Arabic? The why things are the same. Sorry? Why does Quran have to be Arabic? Why can it not be? Because you know why? Because it came to the Arabs right. at those times who were par excellence in the Arabic language. Because they were thinking, it's, it's man written. And he wrote to them, look, look, not to you, to those yes. Arabs that were rejecting it. Okay. And he said, try to bring it like you. You guys are poems, yeah? yeah. You know it all. Yeah. Try to make something like this. Okay. And if you can't, be on the fire. Okay. Be on the fire. Okay. What, well, I'm okay. Very what, I mean, uh, what, what, Ali, what, Ali, what you said, I mean, as always, you've been very eloquent and you've pushed push your case very hard. Um, I've got sort of three, three sort of problems with this now, three challenges basically. Uh, but they're three quite strong challenges why I reject this, why I would invite you to reject it too. But what I'll do is, after I've said them, rather than debating them now, you can make a, you can make a sort of challenge or challenge to me if you wish. So, my three challenges are, number one, is the lack of manuscript evidence. Considering the fact that, that, that Islam had been... Islamic religion had control of... No, no, wait, 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 it's important. Let me... Um, you've been speaking for a bit, so I can speak. So, the lack of manuscript evidence, considering that Islam was in power during all those cities mentioned. Number two, why for the first... I think it's 100, maybe 100 years, uh, I need to recheck re my email. Why did all the quibblers of the mosque face towards Petra in Jordan as opposed to Mecca in, in Saudi Arabia towards the, towards the sea? Three, you've got no mention of Islam, you've got no mention of Muhammad uh, outside of Islam for quite some time after it supposedly started. And that to me is a bit of a mystery because with Christianity, for instance, you have people mentioning it quite early on after it happens. Like who? Like who? Uh, you, you've got so Josephus, you've got Pliny. There is, um, there is as many books against it, there's, there's as many books against absolutely. it, then there is for it. Now the, tell me, what's, your, what's your first criteria? Did you say, what's your first? first my first, uh, my first, uh, manuscripts. first is, is the manuscript problems. Okay. And I'll, 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 I'll continue, I'll continue this obviously. Let's really start with one, let's start with the first one. Okay. Well, no, no, no. no what, what, what I'm doing is I'm, I'm leaving you with these three challenges. Okay. If you want. You want to touch on the first one? Yeah, sure. Okay, no problem. Patrick. Yes. You have got a problem with our manuscripts. Yes. We've got oral transmission. Yes. We've got 100 percent from the yes. first century Hijra. Yes. But you don't have a problem with your manuscripts where you do not have it from third century Hijra. I mean uh, the third century. Yes. Look, look, it's like you're you're trying to shoot us, but you've got a bazooka behind you. Yes. You don't from the third century, 300 years later after Jesus, you do not have nothing. Okay. You're happy with your Bible, yes. but with our Quran we've got thousands. Thousands of transmission, you're saying, look, yeah. I don't accept that. How does that work? Because you make claims, you make claims that you can't support for your own Quran. We do not claim I just, I just, I just, I just, we do not claim that the Bible is eternal. We claim that Jesus is eternal. He is the word who's always been with God, who was God who became flesh. And that's from the first According to the Bible, not Jesus. According to John. According to, uh, John, not Jesus. You see? Who's one of his disciples? Yeah. When it comes to Uthman, yes. yeah, the Caliph Uthman. He was a disciple of the Prophet Muhammad. Oh, by the way, sorry. By the way, the other thing is you claim, you claim that the Quran is eternal as well. Sorry? You claim that the Quran is eternal, or at least it's written on the perishable sort of um, perishable, perishable, perishable tablets. But, thirdly, you were in control of the, the, the these are, areas yeah, from, yeah, from very early on. Dying. Dying. Yeah. Okay. No, no, no. no. Yeah. No, no. Like I said, look. No, finish it. Yeah. I, I want to. I want to look. I just want to see. You, have you read this book? But who's by? Bart Ehrman. He's the guy who comes up with the doctors in Sam Harris, doesn't he? He's the guy. Yeah. Yes. Who left Christianity? Yes. Misquoting Jesus. Oh, hang on. Uh, Sorry, I'm not going to run away. No, I can't run So, uh. He knew the Greek language by heart, yes. right? Okay. He studied the Bible, yeah. and he's saying, you guys do not have a copy of a copy. This is great. Uh, can, I show you, can I show you this? Can I show you this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm going to read, I'm going to read the back. Yeah. Here, comes, uh, here comes three points. First of all, he mentions the King James Bible. Yes. It's based on a corrupted inferior manuscripts yes. that in many cases do not accurately represent the meaning of the original text. Okay, yes. Well, first of all, I can point out this, this is nonsense. This is the King James Bible yeah. is based on the Textus Receptus. These are manuscripts which come very late in the manuscript tradition of the New Testament. Yeah, and therefore we have, we have better ones to use. Yeah. And I absolutely agree with you, for instance. No, 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 no,
So you have the Gospel of Mark. In the Texas Receptus, you go, you go on from uh, chapter 19, verses 16 to 20. Now, most early manuscripts stop at verse 15 of chapter 19. Well, it might be 20. You have to, you have to double check. We Christians are aware of that, but no doctrine has changed as a result of that. You can refer to uh, John. You can refer to the story about the adulterous woman, about just forgive, forgiving her. Again, that's not found in the earliest manuscripts. But actually, it's been changed. That's the reason that Paul Ehrman left Christianity because he's saying there has been errors. Well, he's, he's a fool. He's no. a fool, my brother. Why is he a fool? Paul Ehrman is a fuel. He goes to make to, to, Jesus. To walk, away, to walk away from Christianity on the basis of the Texas Receptus. No, no, no. He's a fool, he's my brother. Greek. No, I do not This Greek. guy studied Greek language. He looked in the old manuscripts. Yes. And he's saying, I studied it. He's wrote in a book. Now, I'll say for the third and time, he became an atheist. I will say for the third time, he's a fool. If that is a reason for walking away from Christianity. You know why he's not a fool? He stepped it up. He said, you know what? There's errors, and I see yes. the errors, and I do not believe it's from God. Whereas you, you yes. say, there is errors, but I'm blind for it. I'm going to follow it blindly. What's your white what's your, what's your, uh, reverse friend? Is um, it Paul? Yeah, Paul, yeah. Yes. He, he left Christianity yeah. vaguely the same reason to see exactly. this. Vaguely the same reason to see this. Is that good reason? He's twice a fool. He is twice a fool. Right. He's left from walks away from Christianity, and he's walked into, into Islam. Okay, Patrick, but, Patrick, Patrick. And you, and you Patrick. face worse Paul, problems. Paul, no, 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 what worse problems? We are following Jesus more. My, myself, I look into Christianity, the reason I went to Islam is... We are open, brother. We are open for any person to Paul, receive our manuscript. Paul, you're saying this. Patrick, we are open. Patrick, Patrick, I mean, Patrick, 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 you're like... Patrick, you're like... We have errors. We know it. But we still follow the Bible. How does that work? You're saying we've errors. How oh, where, Ali, brother. Whereas Paul and Bart Ehrman are saying, we saw the errors and we are leaving Christianity. Ali should be a politician. Ali should be a lawyer. He is absolutely brilliant. He is so eloquent. Patrick. Huh? Any Muslim scholars? Oh, no. Any no. 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 Muslim scholars? Actually, like I said, look. <laughs> Sorry, where are we? Okay. Like I said, no, look, I've, I've done my bit. You've done your bit. Do you think two people leaving Christianity because they found errors are a fool? Yes. But you're saying, you're saying I, I know there's that. errors, but I'm following blindly. I can't say nothing else. Ali, brother, I love you. God bless. I love you too, my friend.